Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in Microsoft Edge, you may know that if you want to open up a link in a new tab, there are a couple of different options that are available. And just to mention two for today's video, you can middle click on your scroll button on your mouse, which will open up said link in a new tab. Or another thing you can try is you can just drag that up to the tab strip and that opens up the link in a new tab. Now that's just two examples. And in regards to opening links, I've been posting and letting you guys know about a new link preview feature that is available that Google is testing in Google Chrome. And link preview is a um, right click context menu entry. When you click on that, it shows you a preview of the page after clicking on the link preview feature. Now, this feature is starting to make its way into Microsoft Edge for desktop, but it's not available as yet in the stable version. It's currently being tested uh, in its early stages of development in Edge Canary 122, which is the latest preview version, and is on a controlled rollout. So I haven't received it yet in Edge Canary in my region, but as always, we're just going to head over to a GIF provided by Leo over on X once again. And there we can see, right click on that preview link, new feature, and there you go. It shows you a preview of the page without having to actually head over to that page, which for some I think could be a handy feature. Now, just to show you in real time, if we head over to Chrome Canary, it's exactly the same thing. As I've posted previously, you right click on the link, preview link, new feature. There we go. And it shows you a preview of the page here to the bottom right um, of the browser. And as mentioned, for some, just maybe an extra feature they don't need. And for others, it may be actually a nice move in the right direction. But nonetheless, uh, link preview seems to be on its way now to Microsoft Edge. And as mentioned, still being tested in Edge Canary, but I think this will make its way into stable because it is obviously part of the Chromium, the upstream Chromium now working its way into different Chromium browsers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.